Hey you all, it's your girl, the Android at home. And for today's vlog model curls, I know this has been long overdue. And finally, she's back with a new perfume haul. I know it's been quite some time. Super naging busy ako 2022, 2023, and 2024. Finally, we have the perfumes now. So again, nga mga curls, because for today's vlog, we're going to be doing an updated perfume collection. So we have from high-end to affordable to perfume itself. And then we have body mist. Everything is complete here, okay? Because ayaw natin maging amoy mabaho, okay? Hindi siya nakakasikap. And also mga curls, make sure you follow Decluttering Curls. Because that Instagram account, we're hosting giveaways monthly. We're giving away free makeup, skincare. Tapos also, I made a pack that if I'm gonna be traveling abroad, para sa giveaway pasalubong. So if I go to another country, bibili ako ng mga skincare, makeup, or chocolates, dun ko nishay lalagay para pang giveaway natin. So make sure you follow Decluttering Curl para meron kayo mga free makeup, skincare, or whatnot, and knickknacks. It's my way of giving back sa inyo. And of course, mga curls, in case you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you're always notified. And lastly, Mount Curls, I'll be leaving all my social media links over here. So without further ado, Mount Curls, let's get started! All right, Mount Curls, I have all the perfumes in front of me here. And actually, I have a variety here. Usually, my vibes clean. I like fruity, but not so fruity. It's almost maasim na. And I like, I know, shocker to, vanilla. I don't know what happened. That I used to not like vanilla. I love vanilla. Like, I just need to live, breathe, and smell vanilla. That I remember, I used to not like gourmand. Pero depende sa vanilla eh. Kasi may mga ibang vanilla na parang pag nainitan, it smells like death. Pero may mga ibang vanilla na parang it smells so cozy. It smells so yummy and like decadent. So yon, share kayo mga bet ko talaga dito. All right, so I actually want to start off with this one. This is my memories. If you guys know, you know. This is actually my brand, which I haven't opened in quite some time now. Because right now we're working on brand new packaging. Because we got some reviews na they had problems with the packaging, and also when it comes to the formulation, okay naman yung mga scents. Pero I don't know. I kind of want it to be more long lasting, and I also want to improve everything overall sa brand. So yon, I just want to mention my memories out there. Abang abang niya in the near future. We're working on it as we speak right now. Again, my memory. So in case if you're wondering, this is my memories of her. This one is more vanilla, cozy, and yes, and dami talaga na sabi na they really want this back kasi sobrang bango talaga. And I agree. This is the most sexiest, very girly, pero innocently, but like maharot ganong vibes. This is super perfect sa memories of her. Yung tipong talaga memories of her, pag naamoy nila yon, maalala ka talaga nila. To the point na hindi ka nila mahakalmuta at saka to the point na mag soul tie na siya ganon. And then this one, this is Memories of Them. This is unisex naman. Kaya nga siya them eh, kasi it's for everyone. This one is more slightly fruity pero musky na clean. Sobrang bao na ito. I also have Memories of Him pero hindi ko na yung mention dito kasi I don't know, I kind of want to change that smell kasi naalala ko yung ex ko and yeah, thank you next bitch. Definitely, we're gonna be improving the packaging and the overall experience pagdating sa product ko to. So, keep an eye on my memories. I got so many DMs about this so yeah, just wanna put it out there. Alright, so I have a lot here. Here. I don't know where to start. Siguro, I'm gonna start from here going here. Okay, from perfumes going to body mist. Alright, so I wanna start off first. This is from Scent Therapy PH. This is Herba Eau de Parfum. Para siyang dupe ng Zer Off ba yun? I forgot the name. I'm just gonna put a text here. Sobrang bango na ito. It smells almost like citrusy sa unang smell. Pero it dries down to this like powdery, sandalwoody na vanilla na. I would say this is very unisex. If you're a guy, you will definitely enjoy this. And also girls actually, na mahilig kayo mag clean fruity scents, you will definitely enjoy this one. And moving on to the next scent we have here, of course. This is actually a dry oil. We cannot forget about this. And dami sa inyo nag sold out nito. And I was so scared of mentioning it. And tama nga ako kasi sinold out nyo nga talaga. Ginamit tong dry oil nito sa akin sa photo shoot when we were in Avon. The makeup artist put this on my body. Her main goal was just to make my body glow. Sa mga pictures para mag glow siya. Pero let me tell you, two days has passed. The smell of this was still on my skin, even if I showered. That's why nag message ako sa makeup artist. Sabi ko, girl, ano yung oil na ginamit mo sa akin? Sobrang bango. And she was like, yeah, it's this one. This is the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Night. This is a dry oil. So, hindi mo siya pwedeng gamitin na parang perfume na ganon. You just put it on your palm, rub your palm, and then just pat. Hindi siya malikit na oil. Tapos, I'm telling you, sobrang long lasting, sobrang bango na ito. I would describe it, it's almost like a slightly musky, dark, sexy smell na parang pang bedroom vibes. I love this talaga. That's why, medyo tinitipid ko to kasi ang hirap niya hanapin. Tapos, kung may stocks, ang bilis masold out dahil sa inyo, nakakaloka. So, ito, tinitipid ko lang to. Honestly, 
fun, very sexy nights, okay? All right, so moving on to the next one I have here. This is Urban Hues Cotton Touch. Alam nyo, this is a brand new scent now, Urban Hues. And this is like cotton, vanilla, sandalwood, mixedic musk. Na clean lang talaga siya. It's so fluffy and yummy. Pero alam nyo yung smell na ito, ginagamit ko ito siya sa gym. Kaya tinam yung bawas niya. Tapos one time, nag-workout ako. And you all know, I hate men. So I'm sorry. <laughs> In case if you're new here, yeah, I'm actually kind of like a misandrist. And I don't give a fuck. One time, nag-gym ako. It was like 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. I was working out. Tapos there's this guy na lagi siyang ano, kung saan ako dun siya. Parang naghihintay siya na opportunity na kausapin ako. Kasi naka-headphones ako eh. So syempre, pag nasa gym, it's more like minding your own business, diba? I feel like hindi na siya nakapagpigil. Tapos nagtanong siya sa akin, sabi, um, excuse me, what perfume are you wearing? I can't help it. You just smell so good. And being the bitch that I am, and I hate men, I was like, leave the fuck alone. So yeah, that's me. I didn't tell my perfume. So in case if you're wondering, if you want to smell good, even if you're sweaty, babes, Cotton Touch na Urban Hues, so good. Just don't tell them what you're wearing, babes. Real talk. All right, so moving on to the next perfume. Alam nyo, I'm gonna make it a habit na mga collect ako ng Arab perfumes kasi ang dami sa inyo na request na, oh, Mama Ho, can you try Arab perfumes? Yung mga latafa, ganun. Ang dami na sabi, girl, try it because it's so good. They're affordable, long-lasting. Tapos, like, ang bango talaga. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, this is one of the first Arab perfumes I have and I really enjoyed. This is Maison Alhambra Vanilla Musk. I only use this if I'm gonna go on dates with rich men. You own a spray niya, it smells like roses. I swear. Here's my tip if you're gonna be using this. Kunyari, aalis ka. Let's say you have a date. Spray this muna sa damit mo, then do your makeup. Kasi, you own a spray neto, honestly, hindi ko talaga siya bet. It smells like lola na amay roses. Pero when it dries down, I'm telling you, it smells like vanilla, musk, and chocolate. Yeah, I know chocolate. Like, what the fuck? Chocolate? Are you fucking serious? No. Parang, alam mo yung smell ng chocolate? Parang gusto mo kagatin yung tao. Ganon. Yung parang gigigil ka, ganon. Girl, trust me, babe. Sobrang tapang niya sa una na para may lola. That's why I kind of get it because I feel like it's so concentrated to the point that you get its true scent like after 15 minutes. Yung base note niya talaga. Pero sobrang prominent ng base note niya. If you smell it like this, ni mo siya magustuhan. Pero pag nagdry down siya, girl, it smells so clean and decadent and yummy that you just wanna bite the person. Medyo hindi siya bawas kasi usually sinusot ko to pag yung target market ko is like yung mga galing sa ibang bansa na mayaman and they're like, oh, they're gonna treat you and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I only wear that because I want to smell like their level. I've noticed some rich guys that I've dated. They have weird tastes or I know, in sense. They don't like the yung mga gusto natin na pabebe sense. They're actually looking for something different. They want something dark, gourmand, sexy, and something decadent, na rich. If you know what I mean, something like that. I don't know. There's a vibe. And always, they're looking for a scent na may amber. Na parang medyo almost Baccarat Rouge, pero Baccarat Rouge right now smells like fucking cheap. Pero yon, something like that. In that category. Category. And speaking of amber, ito ha, if you want to smell something na gano'n, na parang you're like, eh, I'm a girly girly, na parang gusto ko medyo pa baby yung scent, pero amoy rich, like parang gano'n. Girl, trust me, get this. This is Cloud Pink ni Ariana. Actually, I prefer Cloud Pink over Cloud ni Ariana. I remember dati when it was like super hype. Sobra, I love Cloud. I really love it. Tapos kinukumpara kay Baccarat Rouge. I even prefer Cloud over Baccarat Rouge. But when this came out, Mm, it's so fucking good. Like, alam mo, it smells like ambery, slightly vanilla na may pineapple. Yeah, there's a note na pineapple. If you would think na pineapple, what the fuck? It smells fruity and like masim. No, it smells fruity, clean, medyo musky na onting gourmand. Very light na gourmand. It smells rich but not overcomplicated. Usually, yung mga parang designer perfumes, yung mga niche perfumes, they smell so unique to the point na it's way too unique that it smells like shit. This one, no. Like, if you're a girly girl na parang, eh, gusto ko ano eh, medyo, yung pang ano pang lahat. If I would describe Cloud Pink, she's like SM Mega Mall. You know what I mean? Usually, di ba, SM, all kinds of people go to SM. Rich, middle class, lahat pumunta na SM. That's Cloud Pink. She caters to all. Ganon. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. This one is so good. Ah, oh, sobrang bango nito. This is Guess. This is uh, their Bella Vita. Tinan yung packaging, sobrang ganda. This is so good, I'm telling you. This smells like sugary, vanilla, like sobrang yummy nyo. I just love it. It's sweet, but like expensive. It's like a slut, basically. Honestly, it just smells like a slut. Like an expensive slut. Tapos alam nyo, sobrang sulit nito kasi binili ko to sa MOA. They have a sale. This is like usually 6K. I got it for 4K. You get a full-size, travel-size, and lotion. Sobrang 
bango neto. And then, you would think for that price, like 4K, kasi naka sale siya, hindi siya long lasting. Babes, I'm telling you, you don't even need to use this a lot. Yung parang, no babes, dalawa lang. Okay ka na, tama na. Kasi ang lakas niya, to the point na pag may overspray mo siya, sobrang sakit sa ulo. So yeah, this is so good. Parang gusto mo yakapin yung tao, te. Like, ang bango talaga neto. This has been my perfume around summer of last year. If this was my perfume sa El Nido kasi I have brought the travel size babes. Even like swimming kami sa ano, beach, nagbabag kami sa water. Girl, I can still smell it on my neck. Ganun siya long lasting. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. We have here, this one's for men. This is Valentino. Yes, I know, it's for men. Alam nyo dati, bet ko yung mga ganitong amoy. Yung panlalaki. Oh my god, I was so in my masculine energy. But you gotta admit, this smells really good. This is Valentino's. I can't remember, ano ba siya? I forgot the name, pero ito siya. Basta color green siya. Ang bango na ito. It smells musky, fruity, slightly spicy. Like, ang bango talaga. For me, I would say he's like that hot guy who has a big ass and wears leather pants. Yeah, that's the vibes I'm getting. Sobrang bango na ito. If you go to SM Makati or any mall, kung machempo nyo ito, ipatester nyo, I'm telling you. The way I said that this smells like a guy who has a big fat ass and wears leather pants, you're gonna be like, I get the vision, mama ho. You're a ho. I get it. So, yun. Basta ang bango na ito. It smells like idodominate ka. Ganon. Alright, so moving on. This is for my clean girly pops. This is Moschino. Toy number two. The packaging is so cute. It's literally a teddy bear. <laughs> so cute. I love this. For me, I would say it's like gardenia, jasmine, basta like crisp white. Alam mo pag yung mga hotel, yung mga clean bed sheets, yung ganon, yun yung amoy niya. Like, it smells like a bubble bath. Like, super fresh, clean. The best way I could describe it is bubble bath, clean linen, and fresh bed sheets. It smells like a virgin almost. Basta ang bango na ito. Like, white musk. Ah, oh, I love this. Alam mo, usually the scent is super perfect. Even if you're gonna be going outdoors, like, mainit, okay siya kasi it smells really clean. Even if it's humid dito sa Pinas, it really works talaga. Normally, I use this scent on outdoor events. Ganon. Pag nainitin yung ibang perfume kasi parang umaasim na nagiging masakit sa ulo. This one hindi. Basta it just smells like you're very clean and fresh. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. I didn't know yung Bath & Body Works. Meron silang Eau de Parfum. Which I'm like, what the fuck? Pero ito, babes. I'm telling you. Ito, bitch. This is Dream Nights by Bath & Body Works. This is like vanilla, dark. Alam mo yung pag ano, yung amoy ng wine something like that like dark and like seductive and then hello I'm on a vanilla like I've said in my viral TikTok if men have Chanel blue Dylan blue Dior Sauvage Versace Eros bitch we have dream night trust me you're gonna smell like alam mo tipo yung amoy niya you smell like a man eater if he smells he's like oh she smells dangerous and then you're gonna break his heart exactly that's the point I swear if you wanna ruin a man's life and destroy his ego girl wear this even the bottle like babes look at the packaging it gives devil. You know what I mean? Like, bitch, don't come near me. I'm dangerous. Like, don't even fucking try me. It gives royal vibes. You know what I mean? Tapos, alam nyo mga girls, meron sila promo. If I could remember, kami ni Kat, nag-shopping kami sa Bath & Body Works sa MOA to. Parang, if you buy two, you get one for free, something like that. Tapos, bumili ako ng ibang scent ng Bath & Body Works. Tapos, I bought this. So, I got a free Dream Bright. Meron sila mist version nito. I gave it to Kat. Tapos, minsan, pag si Kat pumapasok sa bahay, suot niya yung Dream Bright na body mist. And I'm like, suot mo yung Dream Bright, no? She's like, yeah, I'm wearing it. Like, amoy na amoy talaga, girl. It smells like berries, vanilla, dark feminine energy. I just love it talaga. All right, so moving on to the next perfume I have here. This is from Fleur. This is Missing Person. Si Fleur, honestly, medyo mahal, pero sobrang worth it. Tinan yung, sobrang bawas na siya. Oh, this brings me so much memories. This is super nice. It smells very clean, almost grapefruit. It's like hint of fruitiness, pero more on the clean side. Sobrang bako neto. Tapos one time, suot ko to. Alam mo, sabi mo ng brother ko, sino yung may perfume? Sabi niya, ba't amoy escort? Sabi ko, gago. Go, sabi ko, but alam mo yung amoy na escort? Sige nga, bakit alam mo? Ganyan yung mga amoy nila eh. And I was like, yeah babes, apparently, the missing person you're looking for is an escort. That's why I kind of stopped wearing it kasi yun nga, sabi ng brother ko yun. But honestly, despite that, from time to time, I would still wear it. So yun, as you can see, super bawas na siya. If you're going for clean scents na long-lasting, na sobrang bango but expensive vibes, missing person. It's a little bit expensive but trust me, super sulit yung pera mo dito. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. This is actually a men's perfume and sometimes I wear this because I'm so talaga. Ah, oh, this is Jean Varvetos, Nick Jonas. Nag collab sila ito siya. Jean Varvetos, Nick Jonas. Alam niyo na amoy ko lahat ng perfume ng Jean Varvetos. It's mas like shit. Ito lang yung pinaka maganda. Tas alam niyo every time I have a date, it just so happens na kakapunta sila dito sa bahay. I'm like, can you spray this? <laughs> I'm like, this is basically my album of men. Yung mga naging biktima ko na lalaki. So if I smell it, oh yeah, I remember that guy from Italy. Oh, I remember that guy from Turkey. Oh, I remember that guy from. Yung ganon like yeah. 
Akala nila siguro unique sila. Minsan sila sabi ko, Oh yeah, I don't usually use this on anybody. Just you. Shut the fuck up. You're not the only one, sir. This one, sobrang bongo na ito. It smells very masculine. It smells like, alam mo yung musky na parang mga deodorant na axe. Pero ang sakit sa ulo nun, diba? Tone it down like a scale. Like, tone it fucking down. Like, maybe I would say 50 times na tone down. Ganun siya na parang it smells like a sports body spray but mixed with something aquatic. It smells so fucking good. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. This is Viva La Juicy Noir. Alam nyo, I remember gamit ko to nung 2022 in my club era. Oh my god, I fucking hate it. Kasi I was so heartbroken. Which I haven't actually talked about in social media na nag-break kami. Um, and also, I was heartbroken nung 2022 with so many things. I mean, number one, na-scam ako. Tapos number two, ayun nga, I was going through a heartbreak and then I was so fucking depressed. So yon, I had my club era. So I would go to the club. Minsan, girl, I'm not even kidding. Every Saturday night, Friday, Saturday, club, club. Tapos minsan, girl, Sunday night, magka-club pa ako, te. I know, I know. It was not a healthy time, babes. My body fat, na nag-check ako sa gym, it was 32% with all that alcohol, babes. And then my skin looks so fucking dry with all the alcohol and puyat. Tapos ngayon, I'm in a healthy lifestyle. I'm like, bitch, what? what? So yon, I had my face, my club era. This was usually my perfume. And when they say noir, na pang dark, babes, perfect talaga siya. When you smell it, it smells fruity. I can smell hints of jasmine, gardenia, orange. Yung pagka-spray niya parang very zesty na fruity. Pero hindi siya sour. It's sweet na orange. Alam mo yung orange juice, ganon. Tapos yung base note niya, it smells vanilla. Vanilla na parang hindi siya sticky na vanilla. Na parang may halong tongka bean. Ganun. No, 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 no. It smells very light, flirty, and girly. It smells like a carefree girl. Na, you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm free and I'm cute and whatever. Like, as in, sobrang bao na ito. If you're looking for the perfect combination of fruity, clean, and little gourmand, she is your girl. She's your girl. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume. Yes, this perfume is giving heartbreaker vibes. This is Versace Yellow Diamond. Oh my god. Sobrang bao na ito. It's almost like clean, fruity, and bright. Like oranges, I would say. Alam nyo, I can smell this one. It's like almost lemon. Pero hindi siya lemon na maasin na parang amoy potok na amoy, alam nyo yun, na parang Basta yung maasim na almost Dolce Gabbana light blue. This smells so good. Tapos I can smell bergamot and pear. Just the opening spray. It just gives that fruity, clean vibes. Kaya pag summer, usually pag tag-init, this is my perfume. Sobrang the best talaga to. This was like the perfect mix of fruity meets a hint of floral. Ganon. Wala siyang hint of gourmand. No, 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 no. But this is very humid friendly, very heat friendly, very pang Pinas weather friendly. Alright, so moving on to the next perfume we have. This is Moschino Fresh Pink. Alam nyo, sobrang cute yung packaging nito, but wasted opportunity na you can't spray it here. You have to actually take it out. And this is your spray. This one, when they say it's fresh, fresh, diba? Yung parang mukha siyang Windex. Alam nyo, the smell I'm getting from this is, do you know what Lily of the Valley smells like? Yung floral na malinis, pero light lang. Yun, Lily of the Valley. Alam nyo, I have a tip when it comes to fragrance and when you're like researching fragrance online, mga ganun. When you're the type of person, you like floral scents. Kasi minsan, may mga amoy na floral scents na nakakasin kahilo, look for Lily of the Valley. They're normally floral scent na light. Akala mo Fabcon-ish na clean lang talaga. I smell Lily of the Valley dito. I smell musk, white musk, and then may onting rose siya. Pero hindi siya amoy rose na pang linis ng toilet. Hindi. Just perfect mix ng floral and fruity. Pero I would say floral, fruity, tapos musk sa dulo. Very light, very fresh, very clean. I really enjoy this. Normally for this one, eau de toilette lang siya. I always use this perfume pag ano lang. Errands lang, mabilisan lang. Just something to put on usually on the summertime i gravitate towards this scent all right so moving on to the next scent we have perfume dessert this is orange sorbet sorbet mimosa babes i'm telling you no 2022 around december this was my signature scent sobrang bango niya it's gourmand mixed with fruity i would say it smells like berries but mixed with bergamot i want to say vanilla but it's like very slightly ambery the perfect description of this it smells warm but not warm na almost like cloying na i would say very comforting and sexy at the same time. This one. Basta no December, this was my signature scent of 2022. Of course, so moving on, babes, this is my favorite perfume of all fucking time. Every time I wear this, I will always get a compliment. Always. This is Ariana Grande's Mod Vanilla. Tapos, ang dami nagsasabi na hindi siya maganda, but I'll be fucking for real. It's so 
good. I don't know about y'all. Ito pa ha, ang ironic pa ngayon. Naalala ko yung influencer, nagsabi siya online na hindi mabango yung mod vanilla. Nakita kami in person sa event. Sabi niya sa akin, ang baka mono perfume yan. I was like, babe, it's mod vanilla. The one that you said, it's not good. It's good. I don't know about you, babes. Quick disclaimer, which I should have said earlier. I mean, perfume pagdating sa body chemistry, iba-iba talaga tayong tao eh. So, mali mo, for her body chemistry, it didn't work. But for me, this really works talaga. Every time I wear this, walang palya. Always. Like, parang, ang baka mo, ang baka mo, ang baka mo, walang palya. Mod vanilla, compliment getter. Always. Tapos, I thought I'd share, kasi since it's mod vanilla, I love layering it with this. This is vanilla musk ng Nima. Ayan siya. It's just a fragrance oil. Ganyan lang siya kaonte. You just use one dot. Ganyan yun mo. Tapos ganyan, babes, napakabango. It smells like clean vanilla. Hindi siya amoy vanilla na parang pag nainitam, amoy mabubulok ka. Hindi. It smells so clean. Tapos, ang tagal pa mawala. Tapos, kahit mapawisan ka at mainitan ka, girl, mas bumabango pa yung pawis mo, te. This is vanilla musk. Mahal siya, pero I only use this on special occasions. Not everyday, te. Kasi, it's like expensive and it's like a little bit. So, yeah, we're not going there, babes. Alright, so since we're in the topic of Miss Ariana Grande, I wanna talk about this is sweet like candy. Oh my god, sobra bango na ito. It smells sugary, like Seriously, it smells like candy. What I can get here, it smells like berries mixed with a little bit of fruitiness with a like little bit of cleanness from the pear. It does smell a little bit vanilla. Not warm, but it smells like uh, cashmere. Basta ganon. It smells sweet, gourmand mixed with fruity and floral. Kumbaga, para for me ha. Fruity, gourmand, floral. That's the smell I'm getting from this one. Basta ang bango neto. If you wanna smell grilly and pabebe, this is super good for you. Pero ako, between sweet like candy and Ari, I have here, this is Ari. Yung pinaka first perfume niya. I love Ari. It's literally fruity. It smells like fruity galore. Like, ang bango na ito. And then, slightly floral. I get Lily of the Valley dito. Basta ako, my favorite notes are like fruity, bergamot, Lily of the Valley, vanilla, cashmere. Yun yung mga hinahanap ko. Peony, black currant. Yan. So, ang bango na ito. It smells like fruity mixed with gourmand. Pero hindi siya floral. Basta ang bango na ito. One time nga, the whole December 2023, this was my perfume. Kaya tinan mo yung bawas niya, ang bawas niya. So, I really love this. As ang tagal pa mo wala. Trust me, babes. Super long lasting na ito. Alright, moving on to the next perfume. I have perfumes here from Sugar Dolls, which is super trending. Now, I'm like, you know what? I totally get the hype. I have three of their scent here. I have Date Night and sobrang mo na ito. Yung unang smell na ito, it doesn't smell good. Yung unang spray niya, I don't like it. It smells like black currant. Too much of it. Pero when it dries down, the vanilla, oh my god. The plum, whoo, smells so fucking good. This is Date Night. So for me, pagdating usually sa mga scent na ito, yung hindi maganda yung top note, but the base notes are good. I would suggest spray this na sa damit mo when you're getting your makeup done or when you're doing your makeup. Para pag suot mo yung damit mo, nandun na siya sa notes ng base notes, which maganda yung base note niya, which is vanilla. Like for me ha, Dream Bright. Itong Dream Bright has the same vibes, like dark but sexy man eater vibes. Sobrang bango nito. I just don't like the top notes. Pero pag ipabadry mo lang to, am bango nito. To sober long lasting pa. One time nga eh, like I'm segregating the laundry and then yung damit na ginamit I can date night. I can still smell date night. Don't sa damit na yon. It's been days since the last time I used it. The next one I like from Sugar Dolls. This is Honey Rush. It's super perfect for summer. It smells like honeysuckle, clean and bright. A little bit of floral. Basa ang bango nito, and it's so fresh. Pero hindi siya masakit sa ulo. Sobrang ganda nito. This is Honey Rush. Pero alam niyo my favorite sa kanila sa Sugar Dolls. This is so fucking good. This is creamy vanilla, and you all know I am obsessed with vanilla right now. I would say this is similar to bare vanilla ng Victoria's Secret. Pero sobrang long lasting nito. Yeah, I got it sprayed right now. Like alam niyo, this is my current everyday perfume. Like tinanong yung bawa. Because it's so freaking good. This vanilla that I said that it's not disagreeable to the ulo and it doesn't smell weird. It's just straight up vanilla. Sugary, yummy. It's like a hug, the cashmere, but it's bango. So yon. I really enjoyed creamy vanilla. For me personally, if you want to buy something from Sugar Dolls, my favorite is Honey Rush and creamy vanilla. This is my top, talaga. All right. So moving on, we have this is Prada. Alam niyo ito, sobrang long lasting nito. Again, this is one of those perfumes I would wear just like Alhambra if I'm targeting rich men. Okay, I would say it almost smells like rum. Pero hindi. It's more floral, but it's dark. Dark musk, floral. But you just smell like a man eater. Pero for me, ah, it almost smells like rum. Hindi siya rum na parang amoy straight up Johnny Walker na ganon. Parang tanga sang sang. Hindi. It smells like feminine pero dark. If I'm making any sense. Then this is one of those perfume that you don't need a lot. Just two spritz, you're good, babes. Because I tried one time. Because sometimes I'm ugali ako na if I test the perfume. Shigeon. Still out ko to, babes. 
Nagis na hilo ako. Ano may pagdating sa perfume, pag sumakit yung ulo mo, nasusuka ka. Yeah, that's what happened to me with this perfume. But this is my ride or die. Whenever I ask their hobbies and they say skiing, I'm like, oh, yeah, this bitch has money. So I was like, oh, skiing? Okay, so lagi siya sa lamig. He likes those warm, rich scents. Ito yung mga bala ko. This one or this one. Just ask them their hobbies. And if they say skiing, sir has money. Sprinkle, sprinkle! All right, so moving on to the next scent. This is inspired by Melanie Martinez. This is Crybaby. This straight up smells like strawberry milk. Very lactonic, very strawberry. Just like strawberry fucking milk. So good. I love you. You're gonna be like, what the fuck? You like strawberry milk scent? I actually like this pag tagulan. Nung June of last year, nung tagulan era. Tagulan era. Nung season the tagulan dito sa pinas. Ito lagi yung perfume ko. Tapos I also like strawberry pound cake. I'll put a picture here. Actually, dapat nandito siya, but I can't find it. So yon. Strawberry pound cake or ito. I just love. Strawberry rich, sugary scents, and lactonic smells pagdating sa tagulan. I woke up so comforting na parang it's like yummy and warm. Pero don't use it on summer pag mainit kasi you don't wanna smell like spoiled milk, okay? You don't wanna smell like shit. Alright, so moving on, we got some Zara perfumes. Yes, these are my top picks sa Zara talaga. This is a dupe down ng Dior Poison. I haven't tried it. Beads. This is Zara Femme. Femme? Femme? I don't know. Ito siya, yung white one. This was my perfume no summer of 2021. Ah, uh, it smells like dark vanilla. Madame Whiplash. Like you're a bad bitch. Parang ikaw yung nandodominate ng lalaki. Ganon. Like, I swear. Sobrang dark na vanilla na napaka niya. So, ayun. This is Zara Femme. Trust me. If you go to Zara, just look for this one. Spray it. Oh my god, thank me later, babes. Sobrang bow neto. Ang problema lang sa akin sa Zara, it does not last long. This one ha, that's why I have to bring atomizer. Nagdadala ko ng ganun pag ito yung perfume ko, yung sa Femme. But the rest ng Zara perfume I have here last so long. Kung saan pa yung top scent ko sa Zara, yun pa yung parang, ah, uh, hindi pa siya long lasting, yun yung totoo. What the fuck? So, the next scent I have here, oh, this is my scent ng 2022. I had an era, I love those tuberose, rose, scent floral na parang amoy mayama na tita. I had that era. Yeah, this is ano, Zara Tuberose. Ang bow nito. If you're into floral scent, alam yun ano, Dalina. Dalina. Charaf yung Dalina na perfume, yung pink. If you like that vibes, which ako hindi ko siya masyadong bet, parang too much si Dalina. This is like a calmer version ni Dalina. It's like a chill version. Si Dalina is like your over papansin na epal na sister. Ito yung Tuberose. Hindi siya nag effort pero papansinin siya yung ganon. Ugh, try nyo to. Like, if you go to Zara, smell this, so good. Next, I also like ito, pink floral. Lumbay. They said this is a scent katulad ni ano, Viva La Juicy. Yes, I agree. Very fruity, very girly, and fresh. Saan bow na ito? Wait lang. Paspray nga. Bow te! Yeah, very flirty, girly. I love this. I can smell, again, Lily of the Valley. A hint of rose. Medyo fruity siya. Like pear or berries. Pero not too much berries. Bango! I like this one. Sobrang bango. Alright, so next I have, this is from Zara. I really love this. Ako pagdating sa fruity scents, I like berries. Like black currant. Yung parang rich berry smell. Because for me, when I'm looking for a scent that's fruity, especially dito sa weather natin sa Pinas, medyo tricky siya eh. If you're looking for a note, look for bergamot. It's a safe bet. Look for pear. Look for berries. If you want that sweetness, it's a safe bet. The problem is kasi pagdating sa mga lemon, citrus, dito sa Pinas, potang ina, mag-aamoy potok ka be. Five minutes later, sa tanghali, amoy potok. Your safe bet is berries. Like this one, tong si Dream Bright. I can still use this in the morning kasi it's more of berries yung pagka-fruity niya. Yung ganon, hindi siya like, lemon na maasim. Ito nga eh. So, this is lemon. Pero iba yung pagkagawa ng lemon niya. Hindi siya yung parang maasim katulad sa Dolce Gabbana. Yung ganon. But again, depende pa rin sa ano eh, body chemistry. That's why if you want a fruity scent na safe bet na amoy malinis pa din, go for berries. Look for that note. Floral naman, jasmine, gardenia, lily of the valley, ganon. I used to like patchouli. Vetiver, yun. Stay away from that. Masyado earthy yung smell. Tapos ano, nakaka-attract ng lamok. Amoy lupa. Ganon. Going back, this is ruby berries. This is from Zara. Sobrang bango neto. Fruity siya na light. Perfect siya for if you're gonna go outdoors the whole day and mainit. Smells so good. And also pink flambe smells so good. Alam niya if you like the girly girly scents, yung tipong ma-art at kikay scent, you're gonna really enjoy these talaga. Alright, Malka. So moving on to body mist. I have a couple of body mist here. I want to start off first from the most expensive, going to the more affordable ones. Cause I gotta mention it. I just gotta fucking mention it, vibes. This is Fleur Vanilla Skin. May tatlo silang body mist: Mango Mood, Amber 
something. Tapos, ito, vanilla skin, if you wanna buy one. Kahit decant. Actually, for me, okay na ako sa decant. Pero I just can't help it. Bumuli na ako full size. This is so good. It smells like vanilla. Pero meron siya pink pepper. Yung top note niya may pink pepper. Which fucking sucks. Yung, yung pag unang spray mo, pa na amoy paminta. And you're like, what the fuck? It smells like pepper. Pero pagka dry down niya, do mo maamoy yung vanilla cashmere Ugh. Actually, I just use this for my hair. Kasi ano siya, body and hair mist. So, usually, I would layer my vanilla mask, mod vanilla, pheromones, tapos I put this hair ko. I always get compliments nito. Tapos they're like, oh, ang bango mo naman, ang bango ng buhok mo, yung ganon. Kanyari mo yung house sa likod ko, they're like, ang bango na perfume mo, ano yan? And then I'm like, maybe it's my hair, ganon. Trust me, babe, sobrang bango nito. Yeah, top note is pink pepper, pink apple, and sugar crystals. Yung heart niya is lily, jasmine, pepper, and cashmere wood. Tapos yung ano niya, base niya is benzoin, vanilla, sandalwood, and agar wood. It just smells vanilla comfort. Ang bango talaga. Pero alam nyo, if you want something similar na sa ganito, bare vanilla and creamy vanilla ng sugar dolls, these three smells almost identical. If you're trying to save some money, but babes, I'm telling you, babes. Victoria's Secret. Nakailang mention na ako na ito, babes. Victoria's Secret bare vanilla. Smells like heaven, sugar, cashmere, soft, yummy. Like a teddy bear. So fucking good. Tinig nyo naman yung bawas na ito. Actually, naka-add to cart na ako na ito. Naka-abang na ako eh. Maubos to. Tapos i-check out ko na lang eh. Ganun siya kabango. I love the smell. Kahit painitan siya, kahit sa gabi, pwede siya. I love the smell. I just love it. Alright, so moving on to Bath & Body Works. I actually haven't shopped for new ones noong 2000. 2023. I just had what I had since 2022. Tapos ito yung mga pinanggamit ko. But this year, 2024, I want to shop more perfumes. Tapos yung mga ita-target ko yung mga Tom Ford Vanilla Sex, yung mga ganun, like yung mga expensive ones. I think I want to try more designer perfumes. Pero syempre naman, itatry naman natin yung maganda, diba? Gagastos tayo ng 25k, tapos hindi natin magagustahan. Yun, totoo ba? Eh, case boy! So now, pagdating sa body mist, these are my favorites talaga. I bought this in Singapore. This is Bath & Body Works Midnight Swim. This is, I would say, Fresh, clean, aquatic, just like airy, florally clean, pero hindi siya nakahilo. It just smells like clean talaga. Tapos, moving on, this is Open Sky. At tinan nyo naman, nakailang mention na ako na ito, te. Sobrang bawas, nawala na yung cap. This smells so good. Oh, this one has vanilla clouds, yeah. Again, like I said, it has fresh berries. This is the perfect definition. If it's slightly vanilla, then it's slightly clean. I wouldn't say floral. Not too much floral. Basta, it's very clean. I love this. Open Sky, it's just very fresh, very light, very mabango. Malinis na flirty. The next I have this is Bath and Body Works Fairy Tale. Alam nyo, ito si Fairy Tale. This has vanilla bean and pomegranate nectar. It smells so good mixed with sweat. Yeah, I think I mentioned it many times. Tapos of all Bath and Body Works, this lasts the longest. Tapos pag napawisan siya, it smells so good. Yung tipo, ito nga yung gamit ko sa gym eh. Before going to the gym, ito yung sa-spray ko. And then I come home, like mixed with sweat. It smells so good. Weird, I know, but yeah, real. Alright, moving on to the next Bath and Body Works, babes. This was my signature perfume around 2022 somewhere. I would say September, October to November of 2022. This was like my signature scent talaga. I don't care if it's a body mist. Hindi siya long lasting. I will bring this with me in a small container. Bitch, it's so fucking good. This is like clean personified. Okay? Amoy ano, baby powder. Actually, ito yung notes niya eh. Crisp pear. I told you pear. Just look for pear if you want something clean. Fresh white t-shirt. Lavender cloud. Actually, yes. Lavender. Look for lavender. Okay yung note niyan. Clean musk and soft sandalwood. This smells like the cleanest scent ever. Basta, I was so obsessed with clean scent noong 2022 era. I love clean scent. Basta, itong body mist na to, sobrang bango. To the point, even sa Singapore, ito yung signature scent ko. Clean, powdery, but yet sexy. When it comes to Taylor Swift's song style, this is what she was talking about. White t-shirt! Shut up. Yeah, this is white t-shirt. This is what Taylor Swift was talking about in her song, babes. If style was a scent, it would smell like this. That's the best way I can describe it. If style ni Taylor Swift was a scent, it smells like this. All right, so moving on to the last scent I have here. This is Victoria's Secret Lavender Vanilla. This one, it's lavender and vanilla. It almost smells like REM ni Ariana Grande, but less chemical. Because I've seen in the comments that ano, si REM daw amoy ano insecticide. I'm like, actually gets. Mabuo naman siya, pero gets kung siya sabi nila. If you don't like that insecticide smell, ito siya. Okay, to very calm, light. 
fresh, slightly gourmand. Pwede sa weather natin. This one's so good. This is Victoria's Secret Lavender and Vanilla Relax. All right, Malco, so that concludes this vlog of our updated perfume collection. What do you guys think? Like, comment down below which of the perfume are you most likely gonna get or which perfumes here you've tried and what was your experience? I need to know. Comment down below. And also, Malco, I'm gonna make it a pack this year. I kind of want to collect more perfumes. Pero honestly, I'm in the era na... Kasi 2022, I was so into clean. 2023, early 2023. From January to May, I was like into clean talaga. That was May onwards. Yun na. Vanilla nate. So right now, I'm at the point, 2024, January. This now it's February as I'm filming this. I am obsessed with vanilla. I'm in the hunt for vanilla. If I'm gonna buy more perfumes, it's gonna be more vanilla scents moving forward. Because I'm in that era ngayon. All right, Malco. So that concludes this perfume collection vlog. What do you guys think? And of course, Malco, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And of course, Malco, very important is to stay machine cap. Mama ba? How's the key?